Whew, I have redone this video. This is the second take, so hopefully, because the first one was very long and lots of crying, so hopefully I can get through this one without shedding a tear. I wanted to come on here and chat with you all for a second. I've seen your comments, I've seen your messages, um, and I really just have to say thank you. And there's really not even enough words for me to say thank you because the way you have rallied around me during this difficult time, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, my mother pictured right here, sadly passed away. It'll be three weeks this coming Wednesday since um, her passing, and it's it's been rough. My grandmother, my father and my grandmother both passed away two months between each other in 2020. I, I was 30 and 31 years old at the time, and you know, years later, my mom passes away as well. I know and I understand that there are people out there who've lost their parents younger than myself, and some never even met their parents. I just never pictured that at 34, I wouldn't have my key figures here anymore. I mean, my, my dad at the time of his passing was 60. My mom at the time of her passing was 62. She just turned 62 two months prior in February. So fairly young, right? And for me, I feel like that's what makes this whole ordeal hard. What I need to say is thank you to everybody. Thank you for your kind words, your messages. Thank you to everybody that helped donate to my mother's um, funeral arrangements. As an only child, uh, mm, you have no idea what it means to me to be able to give her the homegoing service that she deserved. And here comes the emotions. <laughs> While, of course, I've had friends and family donate to, you know, her cause, it's you all. It, it was you all. <sighs> ah, y'all have no idea how much that means to me. At first, I was only able to do bare minimum. And bare minimum for me wasn't good enough. And it wasn't until I realized I need help. And y'all came through. I will forever be grateful for that, for your kind words and messages and everything during this time. Whew. Mm. This has been the roughest journey I have ever been on. And I appreciate you all just being there and, and bearing with me and, and being understanding. Um, I'm laying my mom to rest. Her, her funeral is May 11th, so two weeks from yesterday, Saturday. Not tomorrow, but the following Monday, I'll be heading back to Kansas. I was in Kansas last week taking care of stuff for her estate and paying for stuff that oh, without you all I, I it wouldn't have happened in the way it was able to happen i got to meet my handsome nephew cohen who is the most cutest chunkiest piece of joy ever i miss my mom every day instead of celebrating her life i would have rather her be here and celebrating her but I'm going to do it right. We are going to do her really good. And I have to thank again you, you all. I don't know when I'm going to be back. Um, obviously, I, I, I've kind of told people it definitely will be after the, the funeral service and all of that. Um, I'm sure you can imagine this isn't really a priority for me right now. But I hope you still stick around. Because I still want to do this. I still want to bring you in Royal News. But I have to figure out who in Royal News is now, if that makes sense. This has shown me that being on the good side of social media <laughs> and
just being a good person. I mean, I don't. I know I'm not the best person, but I do think I'm a good person, and I feel like I'm a good person. That um, be supported. So, thank you. I I I can't. There's not even another. I don't know. I don't know how to say it or convey it any any more than that. And I'm I'm sorry. I know it sounds generic, but everything you all have done all the words you have said means so much to me and uh i i really can't thank you enough bye guys